Hey everybody, it's Scoggins bringing you your last intro to Illustrator video on layering. Using layers in Photoshop versus using layers in Illustrator can, is a little different. And one of the things that I find you that a lot of people kind of mess up with, in my opinion, is when they're using Illustrator, they don't keep themselves organized. They don't use um, the layering and the grouping options effectively in order to minimize um, what they have. So we're going to pull open our layers, which is right here. And if you look, it is a serious mess. One of the things that I find working with students over the years is when I try to come in to their Illustrator files or even a Photoshop file, it's a similar concept, I can't ever find what I'm looking for in order to help them. So this activity, our goal is to reorganize our layers and group things effectively in order to make our picture look correct. So our picture needs to look like this. It is Happy Halloween. Um, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I love seeing people dressed up. Um, so I created this little ditty for you to use for this particular activity. Um, in the website, there is a um, link on how to organize your layers as well that you can kind of walk through and it kind of shows you different um, techniques about layering. It's a little older, but I think it's really a good tutorial and it really kind of walks you through how to arrange things. But for our purposes today, I'm just going to walk you through it real quick. So what we have here is a series of imagery that relate to the different pieces and nothing's grouped. Grouping it sounds exactly like what it is. It's taking different objects. So for example, we're going to start with this pumpkin. It's taking these different pieces that right now are separate. So if I move one, it's going to leave the rest behind. And that's not really effective for time management, if nothing else, um, and efficiency. So I want to make it so if I move one, it's going to move them all. So I'm going to hold down my shift key here and I'm going to select all these different layers. That's one way to do it. Okay. Um, now, if you notice on my layers menu, I've got this circle over here on the right. And when I highlight them, you know, when I've got them selected, we're going to have this little box here. Now I missed one. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and click this little circle right here. And now I have them all. I'm going to right click and I can say group. And now if you notice, it's going to say group and they're all going to be together. Now the layers are still there but they're just grouped together. At any point I can ungroup by again, right click and say undo group. And now they're separate again. But again, I want them grouped. The keyboard shortcut for this is command G. I like the shortcut to ungroup them. It's command shift G to ungroup. Um, I also think it's really important to name our layers or our groups. So everything kind of, if you look is defaulted to, you can hear my dog walking in the background. Um, path or group or clipping mask or anything like that. So for this, I want to call this pumpkin body. Okay. So if you notice, I'm missing the rest of my pumpkin and it's three stems. If you remember the original image, which I'll show you real quick is it's got some stems on it. We also have some eyes and a mouth. So we need to put all those different pieces together. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to grab these three and these are already grouped, which is nice. So it's got the path already in there and I'm going to drag these up so that they're visible and I'm going to drop them right above because I want it above my body of my pumpkin because I want the stem on top. If it was the other way around, we're going to be cutting off part of our stem and that's not the way we want it to look. So I'm going to grab these three holding that shift key down and I'm going to group them and then I'm going to, like I said, move them above. So now I'm going to call this, you guessed it, pumpkin stem. I think again, names make it so much easier to find what you're looking for. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want you to kind of have to work some of this out for yourself. Um, but I am going to move my face up here and here's the thing that I don't think when you're starting out, people realize they can do. So I'm going to put my face on my pumpkin. This is already grouped. If you drop it down, there's all my different paths. But what's nice is now I can group the groups. So I'm going to take all three of these groups that I have 
um, and I'm going to actually group them. So now it's one group, and I'm going to be able to call that one group my pumpkin. So your job with this activity is to figure out how many groups you can have um, without destroying it without and making it like so you can still see everything so for example this path needs to come back which is our blue background right and we move this down and so see other things are starting to become visible that we couldn't see before um, oop, and sometimes it doesn't like what you do um, so you want to kind of rearrange how can you rearrange everything to get the picture like it's supposed to be in the fewest number of layer changes. You want to be careful though that the the moon is still visible so it needs to be actually in front. You want to watch those few kind of things and then you also have a stars layer that you want to make sure is also in front. So good luck. Move it all around. Get all this compressed as small as you can. Make sure you name everything and then I like to lock things that I know I'm done with. Like, I know I'm done with my pumpkin. I can't compress that anymore. Um, I might be able to merge it with some ghosts, hint, hint. Um, but I can always unlock that when I'm done. Um, I like this to be nice and short. This one's pretty simple, funny enough. It doesn't have that many layers or that many um, objects. But I have had some that have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of various objects. So by... Um, grouping everything effectively, it lets me find things a lot more easily. So can't wait to see what you create, and thanks for tuning in.